So the first thing we'll do with this uh, yeah, Sedona after we've taken the valve cover off is uh, you know, we'll clean that off and notice how uh, it's got all that oil and gook in there. Today's product we're going to use is brake parts cleaner because this is great. As a matter of fact, O'Reilly's brake parts cleaner. I'll give them a shout out for that because it's a great product. Um, we'll spray it down and if you've seen my other videos, you already know what this stuff's going to do to this oil that's cooked on to this valve cover. So, but by the end of the process, it'll be quite clean. Now, also, when it's caked on stuff like that, you may want to take a um, brush and um, brush it down. Or you can just use a whole bunch of this stuff and, you know. But I find that if you take this and kind of wet it down and then use a brush to kind of brush it away, that'll save you a little bit of money. This stuff is... I'm not sure of the pricing where your area is, but... Uh, it's, it's about four or five dollars a can roughly um, unless you have you know a commercial discount or something like that anyway um as you can see it's already working there so i'm just going to like spray that down for a little bit let it sit and then i'm gonna get my brush and i'll go over it i use an airbrush with a wire attachment to it but like i say i could just actually sit here and I full blast that off like that, but I don't want to waste all my chemical, you know, you know the chemical does great, see that, I can sit here and do that all day long, it'd probably take me about three cans to get it clean, but like I said, I'm going to use my brush to really knock it loose, and then I'll use the chemical to uh, just really kind of polish and clean it on out, look, look how clean that stuff has gotten out already, alright, this right here is just the, the old the old um, gasket material, valve cover gasket. This is actually your spark plug tube seal. The spark plug tube gasket seals. Okay, pull those out. They, they get some new ones. Um, at this point, these are hard and brittle, and cracked. Um, as you can see, that's just you know, it's, it's not pliable at all. It's, it's actually cracking in my my hand there. So that's trash. And you see the little trash that's left on here. So we'll clean this up and then we'll go and clean up the motor part. Oh, there's my dog. Hey, dog, you coming to do some work? You coming to do some work? You gonna do some work today? Huh? You gonna do some work today? You gonna do some work today? Or you just wanna eat? All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our <coughs> air tool here. <coughs> you see how that just knocks it right on off when you spray it down? <coughs> As you can see, this is pretty thick stuff. Now, I know this isn't exactly what we said we were going to be doing the video on, but um, <laughs> I did a video like this before one time and someone said, well, how did you clean the valve cover? You didn't show us to clean the valve cover. So I hope this helps my audience members that wanted to see me cleaning the valve cover, the process I use. Like I say, you could just spray this thing off, but you'd be using a couple cans of cleaner to do that. Or, um, if you use a cleaner and a brush together, you see? See how that comes off? So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish cleaning this, and then we'll get to the motor part, and uh, I'll come back and let you see what it looks like clean. So one quick note here, this in the corner right here is a camshaft position sensor. So you want to be careful if you're using a brush to clean that because you don't want to damage that camshaft position sensor. But you see how much oil is built up on that? That's going to give that thing a hard time reading that camshaft position sensor as it gets built up, as it builds up there. So you definitely want to clean that off. You might want to take that off and hand clean it instead of putting 
um, the brush onto it. Or you could just use the spray cleaner and clean it off. But, you know, be careful with that because you don't want to break it. Some of those things are quite expensive. Bought one the other day for a car and it was $178. <laughs> yeah. And as a matter of fact, I think it was a little bit smaller than that one. So be careful when you see any type of electronic sensors like that when you're using um, wire brushes and stuff. Okay, we're going to keep cleaning. I'll come back once this thing's clean. Still cleaning. <laughs> Stuff in here was kind of thick, actually. Part you lose down in these little crevices here. That's pretty hard to get down into with your brush. But um, we've got the overall thing pretty much clean. I'm going to rinse this thing off now, get some more cleaner, and then we're going to put it onto the car um, because that process. I'm going to need this valve cover on the car in order to do the um, flush that I need so that the oil won't get everywhere. But I wanted to clean that out by hand first and show you how to do that. Um, it's a good thing to go ahead and take... It's a good thing to go ahead and take that out um, because um, you can hand clean it. And then once you hand clean it, you can put it back on and then proceed with your fresh. But uh, these things usually have a lot of oil baked up really bad on them. And, um, like I say, if that falls down in the motor, that can clog up your fuel pump. I mean, not your fuel pump, excuse me, your oil pump, your oil pump screen, oil filter, etc. So, now that we have this thing clean, we're going to rinse it off, and then we'll put it on the car, and we'll proceed to the next step. All right, now that we have our valve cover clean, we can go ahead and install our valve cover gasket. After you clean your valve cover, I do recommend let this valve cover dry before you put the gasket in there. You don't want to get any of that cleaner stuff on your gasket because if it does, you run the risk of damaging your gasket. Um, so let it dry good and then you can put your gaskets in there and then you can install it back on the car. So uh, I guess you can see a big difference here from the way it did look before as opposed to the way it looks now. I could spend a few more minutes and clean it up a little more but um, I've got some other things I need to do. I need this valve cover on the car. so. We're going to show you how to put that gasket in there, and then I'm going to proceed on with the other things I need to do with the car. All right, so here's our valve cover gasket box. Uh, it's going to come with a valve cover for both sides. It's for a Kia V6 2.3 06 to 08 model. You know, she got one valve cover for the left, one valve cover for the right. So, now, common mistake a lot of people make when they're opening these gaskets. They'll take their knife and they'll go down through here and cut that slit. Be careful doing that because if you do, you might mess around and cut the actual gasket. What I like to do is kind of go through the side and cut that side right there because I know the gasket's not going to be there. And then I'll come here and just like cut like this, that little tip piece right there. So we can open the box now and then you can just slide your gasket out without damaging it. See how close it is to that lid? If you slide that thing, that knife across through there like that, you run the risk of cutting that gasket in half. Then you gotta go back and buy you another gasket and explain to the auto parts store guy what you did. And, you know, not the best moment of glory. So you'll notice the gasket. We got one for the front, one for the rear. Let me figure out which one is which, then we'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our gasket installed. Um, one thing about these rubber gaskets, you don't want to, or neoprene, whatever this thing's made of, you don't want to pull and stretch this thing. You want to place it roughly where it goes, and then once you get it in place where it goes, just press down. Okay? On the side of the gasket there, you'll see these little tabs there, and that tab is to lock that into the cover. 
So push that down nice and even. Don't take your finger and, and pull across like that because that will actually stretch it. What you want to do is just come along and just nice evenly push it down where it's supposed to be after you line it up. I'm going to line it up first. Just go through and push it down. those of you who are wondering why I didn't clean the outside of the cover, that's a different step, or it could be a different video either way. <laughs> right now we're focusing on the inside of your motor, so um, you can always clean the outside before you do this type of work or after you get finished. So, we'll push that down in there like so. Now your cover is ready to install, installation of um, this cover is the reverse of taking it out. Now also sometimes you may have a gasket that doesn't want to seat in place where you know we don't want to lock in it might keep falling out or something. And it is okay to take a little bit of silicone and put under that gasket to hold it in place you know maybe about four little dabs you know here 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 whatever wherever you know it's falling out that'll be fine. Don't use too much uh, just enough to kind of make it tacky and hold it in place. All right, so that cover is now ready to go on. We'll install that cover and proceed to our next step. Um, trying to do two videos here. <laughs> We're gonna do a video on how to do this valve cover thing, but then this video is actually gonna go further. So um, if I sound a little, a little like I'm talking about two different things here, that, that, that's why, because this video is gonna be part of a continuation of another video. But for this portion here, this is how you get your valve cover clean and um, how you install your valve cover gasket. All right. So if you have any comments, questions, post, chat. Um, if you're interested in the other video that I'm doing, um, it's basically how to clean the clean or flush the inside of your motor out. Um, that's the continuation of the video that I was talking about prior. But for those of you who just needed to know how to do the valve cover gasket cleaning or how to install a valve cover gasket, this will be the completion of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Share this with the world. Have a great day. And may your fortunes in 2018 be better than they were in 2017.